Okay, this is part two of the bed rendering uh, classwork assignment. So right now I'm adding a little bit of gray. This is basic gray number three. It has a little bit of a purple tinge to it. So I'm using that uh, to go along with the pink and the red. So I'm using the tip and just kind of skipping the pen along the edges. So we're just going to outline where this is folded over. Um, I'm also kind of outlining these pillows. Some are going to be pink, some won't. Um, we'll put that guy in there. I also want to put a little bit more, I put some blender on here to cut down on some of the contrast because that, that pink is really pink. Um, I think what I may do is try to use an even lighter shade of pink and kind of fill in those pillows to again cut down on how much contrast there is because that pink is really kind of horrible. And I'm following the contours of the pillow with the marker. Um, and let's put some on here too. Tone that down just a little bit. Okay, so now going back to the basic gray, I'm going to put some wrinkles in here. And these wrinkles are going to go up the side and over. All right, so, and they're going to be different widths. Make that dark under there. So basically these are going to be the wrinkles going across the top of the bed. And probably should be dark in here too. If the light is coming from this side, it won't be able to reach the foot of the bed here. So this should be equally dark. Now that I've done one coat, I'm going to do even more. I can also do some wrinkles here. The idea is that it's, it's very soft. When you're using a marker. You're definitely not using Micron. Um, I am going to come in later and put a little bit more on with a light uh, colored pencil. So uh, let's put some, well, let's do that with a colored pencil. We'll do that in just a minute. That'll be part of the next segment. Um, there we go. 